The wick in your heater needs replacing if, after repeated cleanings, any of the following conditions still exist. Slow to light, hard movement of the wick adjuster knob, kerosene odor while burning, low heat output, slow warm up, damaged or excessively dirty wick. You will need the following tools to replace the wick. A flat blade screwdriver, a plastic bag with twist tie or zip top, and work gloves. Use a screwdriver to loosen and remove cabinet screws on either side of the heater cabinet. Use the carrying handle to lift the cabinet straight up and away from the heater. Gently pull the wick adjustment knob off the heater. Remove the cabinet base by lifting it from the back and tilting it forward to clear the wick adjuster assembly. Remove the wind cover. Trip the pendulum on the automatic safety shutoff system to lower the wick. Remove the four wing nuts which hold the wick assembly to the heater. Replace the wick adjustment knob temporarily. For your protection, put on the safety gloves and carefully lift the wick assembly from the heater. If necessary, reinstall the gasket onto the heater. Hold the wick assembly upside down. Using caution, grasp the wick cover and turn it counterclockwise to remove it. Remove the wick by folding it to the inside. Place the discarded wick inside the plastic bag and seal it. Then remove the wick sleeve from the bottom of the assembly. Install the new wick and insert the three pins on the new wick into the three holes on the wick sleeve in the upward direction. Please note the arrow marked up on the wick sleeve. Push the new wick into the retainer teeth of the wick sleeve so that the wick adheres tightly around the inside of the wick sleeve, smoothing out any wrinkles. Line up the pins with the slotted holes inside the wick adjuster. 
Then lightly press each of the three pins of the wick toward the inside. Insert the three pins into the slanted grooves of the wick adjuster. Press on each of the three pins, inserting them securely in the holes. The wick height will automatically be set to the correct burning height of 3 8 inch. Align the tabs on the wick cover with the four tabs on the bottom of the assembly. Snap into place and be certain of firm contact at all points. Pull lightly on the skirt of the wick to remove any slack. Replace the wick assembly on the heater with the wick raised. The wick adjuster knob will need to be positioned between the caution and warning labels. Replace the two diagonally opposite wing nuts first, then the remaining two. Tighten each of the four wing nuts gradually until the wick assembly is firmly in place. Trip the automatic shutoff system by nudging the pendulum. Raise the wick by turning the wick adjuster knob. Trip it again to make certain it is operating correctly. Remove the wick adjustment knob which you had temporarily replaced to test wick operation and replace the wind cover. Replace the cabinet base making certain to align the automatic safety shutoff lever and the wick adjustment shaft, which holds the knob, with the appropriate slots in the cabinet base. Replace the wick adjustment knob. Replace the heater cabinet. Make certain the grill guard prongs are inserted securely into the proper holes on the heater and the front cabinet matches the front of the heater. Fasten the cabinet to the heater with the two screws.